Stay Behind the Bulldogs has seen your day. It's always bittersweet. It's uh, so great to see um, our senior Nadiria Evans um, have such a great career and everything that she did for this program. But it's always um, sad to, to see them and think about her leaving. She left such a huge legacy here at UNC Asheville, not just on the court, but off the court. You know, Dee set so many records. Um, you know, her name is splashed all over the record book here at UNC Asheville, but also in the Big South. So we um, always honor, of course, our seniors at half court, you know, Jersey, those types of things. But we also have a really nice senior reception after the game where friends and family can honor her. Um, Coach Dre does a great video about uh, her over her time here. So a lot of uh, laughs, some tears, you know, just a lot of great memories. But um, excited for Nadiria's next step and uh, be ready for our next set of seniors. South Tournament, man, what a, what a fun time. Um, just proud of this group. You know, we went through a lot of up and ups and downs during the season with COVID and some injuries and just didn't quite find our stride, but really encouraged our team and, uh, you know, really just proud of their resilience and how much they showed up to work every day to get better. And I think we got better and better as the season went on, even though we weren't getting some of the results. We won our last game at home against Charleston Southern, and I think that gave us a lot of momentum going into the Big South Tournament. Um, it was at Charlotte this year in the Bojangles Coliseum, which was fun in a new environment. All the teams were there, men's and women's basketball, so it was fun to uh, to be in that setting. But our players really bought into um, one game at a time. You know, we talked a little bit about David and Goliath just because we felt like we were um, uh, not looked upon that we that we could do big things in the tournament, and our and our players really bought into that and really pulled together. We played some of our best basketball, which is what you want to be doing in March, you know, March Madness, and had a great first game against North Carolina A and T that we had lost uh, to earlier in the year. Great game plan by our, our assistant coaches, and just really. Uh, came out of the gates hard and fast and then was able to maintain that all through the through the game and get the win and great celebration in the locker room after. Um, then took another day or so, uh, played USC Upstate again, somebody we had lost to earlier in the year and again just found a way to dig in. You know, it was a grind back and forth the entire game and we came up with a few more big plays than they did. And again, what an awesome win for, for our team. Just super excited for them to uh, win that quarterfinal game. And uh, we had a day or so in between, which was a little bit unusual for a tournament. So we did try to do something fun. Not too much while we were on our legs, but we went to Dave & Buster's as a team, spent a little time there just to, just to get away, ease their mind, have some fun, you know, win some prizes. I won one of those items that you pull out of the big claw. It was awesome. The kids were jealous. Um, myself and Nia Ivy actually won one of those, so it was awesome. But just fun to see them in their element, be young kids again. and. Uh, Got back to work and thought we had a good game plan going into our semifinal game and just, you know, ran into a bus all along with it, had a, had a great game plan and a, and a great game and uh, we lost that one. But man, I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it. It was a great experience. Just again, really proud of our team and, and how we fought. And um, one more step, because last year we didn't get this far. So we were, we talked a lot about that after the game is taking one more step forward next year and hopefully winning the whole thing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.